Hello everyone, Farin Ferdi here, and finally, the episode about the high exhaust. So many people were asking me about it for such a long time, but the main issue why I haven't been able to make one is because I was waiting for the uh, slip-on from, uh, from Scorpion for a very long time. It took uh, like a month and a half uh, to arrive. And then uh, I had to redone the downpipes as well. So that's the delay. Uh, now it's finished product uh, in the sense that I'm not gonna change anything on it anymore. So let's talk about uh, what I have and I'm gonna show you exactly what has been done to the bike and um, talk a little bit about why I've done this. So the reason for the high exhaust, well, everybody knows that. If you're watching this video, you probably know it very well, is that at some point the exhaust, if you're dropping the bike, starts eating the swing arm. This whole mark is from uh, my OEM exhaust, scraped over there. Um, and uh, it doesn't necessarily need to be serious crash or drop, it will bend inwards even if you drop it at zero speed or something like that. It's just unfortunate that Yamaha did it this way because if you think about it the exhaust is about this high and there's a triangular mount over there which just mounts the exhaust and this bracket is really really weak on the, on the side of the bike. So and, and you're constantly hitting the exhaust here even if you just just drop it um, on a parking lot. So that bends it inwards and then at some point as the swing arm moves up and down it starts scraping the bike. So in order to solve that the only way is to reposition the um, exhaust really. So that's exactly what we did really long time ago and um, that went very well. This is the crude prototype just has been cut it off and welded on. Um, but the final solution which I have at the moment is a little bit more intricate. My change or my kit which I have here is not reversible and it was not even reversible at this point. So the modification which is on this bike is basically baked onto the bike really. I have, I, we have completely changed the mounting point in here. So this is not something which would be like uh, off the shelf um, kit and the reason being is that um, Yamaha doesn't really give you much of the choice uh, if uh, you want to kind of make something which is decent strength. So let's have a closer look what I have here. The downpipe shape and the mounting of the exhaust comes from my few requirements and that is that I really didn't want to have a um, sharp angle in this area. Some other solutions go from here all the way up there and then under the footrest up. But I didn't want that sharp uh, angle over there and I didn't want to have a hot pipe going around here. So that's the reason why it goes that uh, in this area where it goes. Also what I wanted is to keep and retain the footrest. Um, occasionally it is really really useful. And then that means that if I want to have an exhaust in this angle and in this position so it doesn't go um, all the way back here or it's not at the angle like this, I want it like that, I need to have not only the different mount but obviously matching downpipes. So that's the reason for the shape. Um, another problem with uh, making the universal kit or something like that is that uh, the Scorpion for example has 50 millimeter pipe while the OEM one or other slip-ons has just the 40 mil. Now that's the reason why I had to completely redo the um, downpipe. And then small touches but important heat shield in this area um, any solution whatever you want to get needs to have a heat shield here because this is the foot rest the boots are gonna definitely touch on this area this is all scratch from my boots this is also scratch from my boots so some kind of the heat shield 
um, needs to be there, really. And now to the most important part. So in order to mount the exhaust at the position where it is, the whole mounting point needs to change. And what I have here is completely custom stuff where um, I uh, let Punk Mode basically cut um, everything, almost everything which is in this area. There are two tubes, um, this is the reminder of one, and one is basically missing here, it was going into this hole through the rubber. So that all has been gutted and there's new uh, material welded on and he created this kind of a custom, really strong actually, uh, mounting point for the exhaust. And um, that's how it's done. Uh, the fun fact is that at the moment it's mounted like this and the weakest point on the whole system is, is on the exhaust. It's on a bracket from the Scorpion exhaust. Um, this has a potential to bend. That's a zero over there. And if I'm gonna do the Scorpion 3.4 kilos uh, effectively. And the OEM setup with the downpipe um, comes down to 4.8 kilos for that. Um, so that's the weight saving. Um, not really significant to be honest. In terms of kits and what's possible, what's not possible, uh, one thing which is most likely not possible is to reuse the mounting point from the OEM exhaust. Unless the exhaust ends up in some kind of angle like that, um, you have to adjust the mounting point. Most of the kits on a market I know about, and I know about the Punk Moto kit, I know about Camel, and there's a Polish company which has a kit as well, um, they adjust the mounting of the exhaust because it just needs to sit higher and in a, in, in a different position. So Punk Moto has a kit which um, in cooperation with Sharon Exhausts, which is a Czech company making um, racing exhausts. So he has a downpipe, he has a, a slip-on from Sharon and he gives you the hardware to mount it. Camel, I haven't looked at that, but very similar approach. And the Polish company has that uh, system where you have a really steep angle in here and then the pipe goes around here and then the exhaust is over there. So what you have to do most of the time is that the OEM triangle which comes in here, you cut it at a certain position and then you mount the hardware which is provided for you to create this kind of a platform. So you can actually take it off, but I'm not entirely sure if you can then return it back, to be honest. Um, so that's what the kids do. Because the exhaust sit quite high, they may toast the indicator, especially if you have the OEM one as I have. So I had uh, to make a little aluminium heat shield for the indicator, otherwise the Scorpion's gonna toast it. Um, but apart from that, that's it. I think the camel kit comes with the heat shield. Um, yeah. I guess that's all. Um, any questions in the comments, I will be happy to answer. And now I'm going to get uh, back and put it together.